Okay. So, um, what, what is your, what is your, uh, last week we were talking about, um, like the line breeding and, and stuff like that. Um, uh, and, and, you know, what would be the best combination? Like, for example, I just did a, uh, uh, I bred Bane to his great granddaughter. Uh, I'm going to be breeding, uh, Jack to his, aunt, his brother's, uh, uh, sister. I mean, his father's sister. So, so basically, um, in terms of line breeding, you were kind of uh, on the comments last week um, now that we have you online maybe you can speak about it uh, so so in your experience um, in terms of line breeding what do you find to be the best combination uh, and what are the results of that okay uh, uh, then I, after this I will reply about your previous question about or those working on the problem that we have here in the Canary Islands and all Spain okay about uh, line breeding I was looking for the meaning because in Spanish is endogamia and so the words are different. So uh, it's necessary. I will say more. It's obligatory to get an homogeneous breed because if you breed with dogs, for example, the young, the new breeders, they get a dog from one line. Let's say one line, the uh, Irema Curto and they get a dog from Romania, from Carpatcan, for example, I have seen this mix. They take those both dogs, and when they produce, the puppies don't look similar to the parent, to the father, and they don't look similar to the mother, because Presa Canaria is not an homogeneous breed now. It's not like you take a Doberman from any part of the world, from Germany or the United States, you breed them, and you will get a 100% looking Doberman. With the press canary, that doesn't happen. So that's the reason why line breeder is necessary. Because you need to fix, is the word. Uh, the puppies need to have the best characteristic from their parents, from their parents, yes. So the only way to, to get it is doing line breeding. For example, one of the best crosses that we have made, we have been making it like a long time these two last years is let's say uh, I will tell you directly the cross Iran Iran his son is Congo uh, no, uh, yes with Congo and then we have Triana Triana is daughter of Iran and with those dogs that the father is the same we breed those puppies that we get for example, Iran has a, a great free of heat dysplasia. Yes, also uh, he has long lips and everything, but the female that we used with him to produce Congo and to produce Triana, they, they were like the opposite, like very uh, collected lips and everything. So the puppies that produced Congo and Triana, both of them have great uh, hips, great everything. So we like those dogs while we made breed with them and those puppies that we get are better than the parents and than the grandfathers because we were uh, trying to let me find the word because i don't know if it fix uh, yeah i think that it's fix uh, those characteristics now the puppies have them that's the only way to do a proper bleeding plan a lot of people when they start they get crazy they buy dogs from 12 lines from around the world to create presa canarios that is a big error as you told the other day with the mentors remember that you told that don't try to be with 30 mentors just get one um be with that mentor and try to learn as much of him and then obviously you get you create your own method but this is the same with the dogs every breeder have his own perspective about the breed not all of them have the same knowledge about the history of the presa canario or the purpose they are wanting to get so they have different type of selections every breeder have his selection a lot of young people, when they start, young people, no, young uh, breeders that I just are starting get dogs from every part. But none of the dogs that they produce are as good as their parents. The only way to do it is creating your own line. And the only way to do it is with the line breeding. I think that there's no negotiation in this. 
line breathing is the only way to get an homogeneous breed. So if you know, if you know what you are doing, do in breathing, but also you need to have a breathing plan because you have to also think in the next steps that you will get. Yes, of course, you have these puppies, but you will not be breathing and line breathing and line breathing and line breathing. No, obviously you need to, to refresh, but you need to refresh with a dog that is similar in characteristic or that completes that fault that your current dog have. I mean, when I talk about faults, it's not like two very type of different dogs. I mean, fixing something like the mask. For example, Gaudi, in our case, he don't have the best mask, mask obviously. <laughs> he only have the nose and, uh, but he has a great hip. He has an awesome, awesome head, great temperament, also chest and everything. What type of female we will use? One that fix that, one with a great mask to the eyes, something nice. And the puppies that we will produce will be better. If you do it this, in this way, like breathing generation and generation and generation, finally you will be getting what you are looking for. And if you are, if you are uh, looking to get money from breathing, because a lot of people start because they want to get money, they see the prices that the breeders are charging and say, oh, I want that also. But how much years have breathing been breathing. For example, Jim Chandler the other day, and Eva, 20 years, it's a lot of time. It's a lot of money spent on kennels, on dogs. I have seen on Eva um, Instagram, someone that asked her that if a car, a do, a, a car hits your dog, uh, your stud, your main stud, what you do? Man, that, re that happened. Yes, get a new mail and continue. And people don't have this in mind. So also, if you want to get money from Presa Canario, from breathing, you need to do it correctly because you will only last, if you don't do it, you will all last, only last two or three years. And then you will be full of pups in your house. You will not sell any of them for, because people don't trust you. If you want to get money from the Presa Canario, from the breathing, you need to be professional. You need to learn as much as you can. Don't think in the first the liter that you will have, that you do the mathematics. Okay, I sell every puppy for $3,000. Okay, we have a liter of 10 without, we have $30,000. It doesn't work, work in that way because the liter could die. You will get puppies that you are not expecting. <laughs> Things like that happen, but it's not only that. Then you think, okay, I have these puppies. I, if I want to continue breathing, I will not be importing every day, every year, every time I need a dog. No, I need to build my land. Okay, with these dogs that I have, I need to select a keeper. What type of dog I want? Okay, since I have all these puppies, let's select for me the first. Breeders, always the first. This is very important because we are talking about a breed. Money don't uh, means enough when we are talking about professional breeding. If you have a dog, that you really need him for breathing and you don't have any other option and you need that dog, keep him. So you have to first select that dog and since you have a breathing plan, you also have a plan to the next dog. In that way, in the long term, that first investment that you made with your first two dogs, you will recover it because you are thinking in the long way, in the, just in the long process. And at the same time, you are improving the breed. Because if you are not breathing for improving the breed, don't breathe. Any breed, because any small breeder, because one breeder, one liter could produce 10 dogs. Those 10 dogs are now in 10 houses. You don't know if those dogs will breed or not. Obviously, you have breeding rights, but you don't know also how much liters that customer will have. So since your first liter of two dogs, how much dogs could appear? A lot. So you need to think in the in the long term. Okay, so this was the question about the line breathing. This is my yeah. reply. <laughs> Correct. So um, we just had a, a question come in um, from Ronnie Oliver. Uh, I think we kind of touched on this in the, the previous video, but maybe you can touch on it again. He said, uh, how do we as a whole get more uniform breed, like as a whole, look, structure, real temperament, not the my pup bites a rag bull crap, but the original Pressa. How do we, as a whole, how do we get that and, and, and keep that? 
Okay, I, this this question that is uh, here in the that you put it here in. Okay, let me read the game. Hey, more uniform bread. I mean, as a whole, look at structure and real temperament. Okay, if you don't have any dog, if you are not a breeder and you want to start breeding, go directly to the breeder that is producing the dogs that are more near to the dog that you want to breed that needs to be within the standard the traditional press as i told before every breeder has his own taste for example us we don't breed found dogs we only breed black and dark window that is our taste but you have to go directly to the breeder if you don't have dogs to the breeder that have those type of dogs that will be half of the of the way Because if at first you're getting what you're looking for, it's easy to then get the female. If you are going to a male, then get the female. If you already have a dog, imagine you have, um, let's say, you have from the United States that there you have way more lines than here in Spain. I will tell, tell about this uh, in, in, in some time. Uh, for example, you have a VCI dog from the year descendants of dogs from that get important from Spain in the 2010, like pure Dogo Canario. But he is in the UKC as Presa Canario, right? So he's a Presa Canario. So you see that dog. You see, your dog has long lips. Your dog doesn't have good simogomatic arch. You made the hip dysplasia test and he's great. He's an A or he's a B. If he's less, don't breed with him because it's terrible to correct that. If he has that, you have to look for a female that will fit and will correct that. In that way, all the next breedings that you will be having from those mix, I mean, the first litter that you have, those dogs will be better than the parents because you need to find, it's not the... Because, for example, uh, some people say the peak of the litter. The peak of the litter depends on what you are looking for. For example, if we have a skinny dog, our peak of the litter, in this case, will be the biggest one to complete that and to produce bigger dogs. It's always like that. It's always that, that. If you have a very complete dog and another complete dog, yes, obviously, you can produce complete dogs. But it could not complete dogs. You always have to think that Presa Canaria is not already made. It's getting developed with every cross you make. So always you, when you cross, you have to think in improving. Always there is something to improve, like something minimum, like a spot in everywhere. You always can be improving, improving, improving. And in that way, is the only way you can fix uh, the, your line problems and you can get a more homogeneous breed and more complex because we have to... See, uh, uh, for functional dogs, for complete dogs, for the most complete, a great Presa Canario is not that one that bites the best. No, because he, he bites as hell. But his structure is terrible that he's more near to a pit bull than to a Presa Canario. That's not the dog. When we can say that a dog is the perfect Presa Canario, it doesn't exist, but the Presa Canario. The most complex, the one that have the structure, that have the temperament, that is mind stable, that he also can be with kids, that is easy to train. That's the focus. The only way is like that: improving, improving, improving. Selection, selection, and selection. It's very related with the things that I have been talking in the last 30 minutes because it's, it's in that way. Always compensate. Try to compensate. It's the only way. And All breeders, also the small ones that are starting, they are a big piece of the engine. All of them have a responsibility when they are breeding. It's not an easy task. And if you are not thinking in improving and to do your best, just don't breathe. Let other people that is investing his money and everything do it. Okay, so this is my reply to that. Okay, so um, you said you wanted to go back to something that we were talking about earlier. Um, I don't know if you recall what, what the topic was. Um, I think we were talking about... 
I don't remember what we were talking about. Um, you had answered a question and you said we were going to go back. Um, see, yeah, the reason why people don't see uh, videos of our dogs, of our own dogs, not cat on customer dogs, because when I upload videos are from customers, okay? Here in Spain, we have a big problem. I hope that they're in the United States. Uh, I think that you are going to that way also, but I hope that it takes more time that here than here. But we have a very big problem with animal activism. Okay, so for all this crazy animalism, animalist, all dog biting, all dog die, doing something aggressive and everything, they need to don't breathe again and they will take the police to your place and that is what happened to us since we are because you can see small breeders here in the canary island working their dogs with with a problem but we are big we have 54 kennels we have a 13 000 meters of property for the dogs and for everything is big we have been here for 47 years so all the focus is on us For example, with cropping ears and also working dogs, the police came to our kennel and they say, okay, this, that, blah, 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 blah. You can show this on media. Blah. My Instagram account get blocked two times, uh, recently one, <laughs> and some time ago, another one, because publishing dogs uh, doing working things. Because we don't... If someone has seen our old video of Orum, Orum is on, on Instagram because they accepted that. Okay, it's training, we accept that. But Instagram doesn't accept that we kick the dogs. Uh, I mean, with the stick, when we are training them, they are doing a 50 meters run. They catch the, it's our way of working. They catch it and then the, The figurant, I don't know the name in English, is figurant. The man that is with the thing in the arm. Decoy. Ah, the decoy. Okay, perfect. The decoy. Uh, the decoy kicks the dog with the stick strong. It's not a game. He kicks him strong to check if that dog, if that dog opens his mouth or not when he's feeling pain. Because as I tell, I told you at first about the puppy taking from, from the ear, If a present canario feels pain when so when he gets hurt, that's not the dog. If a rover kick the dog with the with a stick or with a knife or with the foot and everything and the dog goes out, what about your kids? Because these are family dogs that are designed to protect the property. If the dog is not going to protect you, why is he there? So all the males that we have here, we do the same type of test. So Somebody can tell me, yes, Manuel, but you can send me the video on private. Yes, all of us know that a private video always get public because as all secrets, people need to tell that to other people. So what we decided to do, since we can't publish videos of dogs working, what we can do, okay, let, of co let our customers do it. We have, for example, Eric Winters, that is a great customer for the United States. He has two dogs from us, and he works in a proper way, the way that we like, like 50 meters of run, and the dog catch and get the stick, and that's the way. Not always with the, the, the rogue taking the dog like, ah, and the dog is like, ah, no, no. Let the dog run, let the dog catch, kick the dog. That's the way to do it. And our customers are doing it. So when I publish a video, for example, in Israel, Megan Callon, that is a great customer for us. He's also training. He trains the dog. And there uh, you can find videos of those dogs uh, doing work from our line. If Instagram tells me something, oh, no, it's not me. If the animalist uh, people here tell me something, no, no, it's not me. Are my customers. Those dogs have proper ears and they are working because they are in Israel, they are in the United States, they are in Romania. We don't have any problem. The problem is when I post that content, they go directly to me. Ah, so you are doing what? Because they don't, don't understand. Because Presa Canario is not like other breeds that you can train them more in an easy way. No, you need to prove the dog with this type of testing. Like they kick with the stick and everything. And most of people, 
don't keep in mind that that is something important until it happens something to your family that you could avoid that with a great dog. That is the great thing for the Presta Canary. But here in Spain, animals, animals have a lot of power and we are nothing against that. They approved the non-cropped ears that comes from the European Union. Nobody could say nothing. I made a campaign, we get 3,000 things. That doesn't work for nothing. So what can I do? Okay, breed great dogs, or do all everything on private, right. and then our customers will publish. Because after 47 years, it's not, we don't want to close. It's obviously, we don't want to close. We love the Presa Canario. We have been doing this all our life. I have born with dogs around me. All my childhood with, uh, was with Nestor, with uh, Bandit, Bandido, all these legendary dogs. It's my whole life. I will not close just because people want to see your dogs working. Manuel Curto has been breeding for all this year. He didn't change it. It's the same. It's everything the same. Right. So we have a question that just came in. Um, it says, what is the most important test performed for selection in the Orima Kertu kennel other than health? Okay. Uh, the most important health, uh, uh, other than health. Okay. The temperament test. Uh, the only way. A lot of people is like very structured with this. The decoys, the professional decoys are very structured. We have our own method. And I recommend this to, every, to everybody. Don't be like an square. When you have a litter, see the puppies, spend hours with them because you will see things that you will not see in a test. You will see, see how the puppy uh, play with the other puppies. When a car enters to the property, how he reacts, if he go barking, if he go bark, if he start biting a plant, if the dog is fighting every time, that is also very important. Uh, when you see a puppy that is always fighting, he sees the food and nobody eats, only he. That's a great puppy, for example, for protection work. And that's the way to do it. Don't be a square. See your puppies a lot. And that's the way uh, how we do it. And that's the way, uh, for example, the way I work. I don't know other breeders, but for example, me. When a customer asks me for a dog, I ask him, what of type of dog are you looking for? Are you looking for a male? Are you looking for a female? Uh, you are looking for a protection dog, for a family dog, for an intensive work dog. You want him brindle, black. I ask them everything, okay? Since we have all the litters here, we usually have two or three litters at the same time. I have different puppies to select between. When I'm spending a lot of time looking at those dogs under the description that my customer gave me, I can select the best puppy. If it's, a, if it's a family that live in New York, near to Central Park, and they live in an apartment, obviously I will not give him the same dog that I sent to Israel some weeks ago, that have the drive and everything. I will send him a calm dog. So he's getting his perfect dog because this happened to me a lot of time years before. And that's the reason why I changed the way I work they asked me for the best dog. Okay, probably for you, the best is not the best for me. They asked me, they are used to the dog canarios and they have a, a crazy temperament, like they are like super soft and everything. They don't have temperament. And they, uh, many in Barcelona asked me for a black dog with a lot of temperament. I want a cocker draw, I want the best because what he has in mind is a very soft dog. And when we send him what he was asking for under the ignorance, the wife get divorced and she told him, I will not go back until you remove the, this dog. He didn't have the knowledge, the puppy, when he, he was uh, uh, living with, um, I think that he was uh, maybe a Spanish Mastiff female. And the Spanish Mastiff female that was an adult was kicking the puppy every time for food and everything. When the puppy was, when the dog was one year old, he fighted one time when the owner was not at home, he killed the female. He was a bad dog. No, on the opposite, he was the best. He was what he asked for. That's the reason why people need to be realistic about what they want.